another episodic podcast to get It's Everybody in that goddamn dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. If you don't like it, talk shit. That, my friends, is the only part. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are here. We are live on Twitch right now, baby. Uh, Trivamania 8. We're in the house. We have our new reigning, defending world Trivamania champion, Dez. He's got the belt from Scott. Dez, say what's up, brother. How's it going, guys? Dez here from Takamania. I'm representing the Trivamania championship. Scott, I hope you're in the chat because uh, I'm in the game and you're not. Actually, Scott is in the chat. He said, what's up? And he's got a bunch of angry faces. <laughs> what do you want to say to Scott, Des? I love you, Scott. Oh, man, nothing but great things. Guy's oh, a uh, true champion. But you know what? I was talking before we went on to this podcast or the Trivomania. I said, I'm the Miz of Trivomania. So I cashed in and look at me. I'm the champion. I'm going to defend it. me now. All right, we got two challengers today. Uh, first one, all the way from Halifax, it's Chris Cass. Chris, introduce yourselves and tell our listeners where they can find you online. Well, you can find me uh, online at twitter.com slash C-A-S-S. It just spells Cass, but it's just a fancy way to spell it because some asshole took fucking Castifer before I forget it, before I could get it. Um, other than that, you know, I'm wearing the shirt. Team New Scott. I also represent a couple other things. Damian Cage, I heard, was in the chat. You can follow uh, Kaizen Pro Wrestling on, on on Twitter and Facebook. He would appreciate that. You're welcome, Dave. Uh, but other than that, yeah, let's fucking do this. And we got another fellow Canadian, our good friend from the Smart, uh, Smart and Friends podcast. Zach, say what's up. Let our listeners know where they can find you online. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, Zach here from the Smirk and Friends podcast, the wrestling podcast that's not just for wrestling fans. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Smirk and Friends. Very easy to find. Hmm. Looking forward to tonight. So, Des, well, how do you feel your chances are here to defend? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm happy to be champion. I'm not going to sell myself short. I think it's going to be a fun night. Um, we'll see. Just hope I don't get spanked too, 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 too I hardly. I thought you liked too the spanks. Hard. Too hard. I do, but only when my wife's right. involved. Um, I liked the video that you posted earlier today on on Twitter. On Twitter, if if nobody had the chance to go see uh, Dez trying to be Oscar, um, what the fuck was that mask, bro? Uh, you know what? I went and visited uh, my wife's family in Japan a couple of years ago, and her mother gave me that as kind of a, well. I saw it in her house actually. Her mother has all kinds of stuff. She's a hoarder, and I saw this mask, and I I asked for it. She gave it to me. So straight from Japan, I think it's just like a. A drunk's face. That's kind of what it is. It's supposed Did to be you just shit talk your mother in law? So, on, look, like live? No, no, no. She, I didn't say she's a drunk. She you gave me a wonderful she's a match. She's a wonderful lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I like sorry. how you she, just like. She kind of is. I like how you just went to her house and you're just like, I want that. Give it to me. <laughs> well, I figured I could help her out with her hoarding problem piece by piece. Next time I go there, I'll, I'll take something else. Oh, man. It was completely altruistic. Daughter. We have uh, uh, Spenny in the Jets. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. He said he's cheering for Zach. Zach, do you know who Spenny is? Yeah, Spencer Love out from uh, from the from the West Coast there. Oh, BC. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no, sorry, uh, okay. uh, Alberta. Sp- uh, Spencer, I'm sorry. I'm like doing terrible on the spot. I'm doing wrong by you, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, Alberta. Terrible on the spot. Let's go with Alberta. Zach, this is what the show is all about, man. Oh, no. Oh, well, I better tap out, man. <laughs> I think I'm done. Right, see you. Lost before we started. Uh, it's one thing I'm happy about, though. Like, this is cool. It's a pure Canadian show tonight. So, you know, regardless right of where here. the belt goes, it's going to be in Canada. But sorry, guys. It's going to be me. Oh. oh. So, yeah, no, no shipping costs. And Americans, enjoy Thanksgiving. But tonight, it's Talking Mania. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to all our American listeners. We have the funny Thanksgiving that's a little bit earlier the in the year. one. 
It's the real Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, I know. That's what everybody says afterwards, right? I'm just trying to be nice. Okay. All right, guys. We're here for one reason and one reason only. We're here for Trivia Mania 8. The last Trivia Mania before our next Money in the Bank competition. We're here for that belt, Des. You know it. These guys know it. Scott, he knows it. But, uh, yeah, let's get into things. Uh, yeah. Afro orchards in my way. Hailing all the way from the East Coast. Maybe he kisses cod, maybe he drinks screech, that's probably from a different province. But our buddy from Halifax, it's Chris Cass. Not even close. I know, that's why I was, I was making a joke. What the hell's wrong with you? It's Newfoundland, right? Yeah, yeah, close enough. You're all the same out in the East. Our friend from downtown, we realized we're both wrestling podcasters and then realized we both went to the same high school. From Smart and Friends, our good friend here from Montreal, it's Zach. What's going on, guys? Your next Talkamania champion. We got the Oscar mask wearing, salty motherfucker, money in the bank, cash in, the Scott defeater. The Pussy Eater. It's Dez, Trivimania champion, the one, the only, Dez is in the house tonight. Yeah, boy, happy Rusev Day. All right, all right, all right, guys, you know how this works. Three rounds, because I've been hosting for the last year, Dez, so it's my rules. <laughs> yeah, well, it's what happens when uh, I'm successful. successful. Whatever. All right, round one, worth one point. Um, you guys got your boards ready? Everything's ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. Now, ready to write. for those watching, Chaos Theory, what's up, my brother? It says, Dad, you better kick these two in the nuts and rep for the FPC boys. Finally, I got a cheerleader. Jeez, everybody's getting love but me tonight. Um, so, round one, worth one point. Round two, worth two. Round three, worth three. And at the end of it all, we have our final question where you can... Bid all of your points that you've won throughout the first three rounds and try and cash in. Um, let's start this off with round one. Question one. Let's go, boys. When Edge and Christian left the brood, Gangrel teamed up with two other wrestlers. Who were those two other wrestlers? Oh. Wow, Dez is already hurting on question one? Or is he playing yeah. possum? Yeah, I remember reading about this recently, too. Oh. Well, we're one question into this, Jay, and you've already, like, went back on your era. What do you mean? Like, this has nothing to do with what you... This is not New Generation or Golden Era. Okay, minus one point for Chris Cass. I, was, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I didn't want to look a good gift horse in the mouth here because, like, I feel confident about my answer here, so... I understand this is more uh, attitude-y. Um, this will be one of the few that are outside of those eras. Plus, you said that you were a little bit nervous about it, so... I wanted to throw you a couple bones, Chris. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You're the yeah, best, Chris. Are you guys ready for it? All right, yes, flip sir. those answers up. I'm going to go one by one, reading them out. We'll start with my boy, Chris Cass. Flip those things over, guys. Let me see him up in the camera. Chris, who do you have? Fuck. Fuck. The Hardys. Matt and Jeff Hardy. Fuck. Des, who do you got? Big Bingo. I got the Acolytes. I, the Ministry Darkness. Darkness. I don't know, man. No good, bud. No good. And Zach, who do you have? Uh, wah, wah. The Hardys. All right. The new brood. There you go. Zach gets the point. Chris Cass gets the point. Dez with a goose egg on question one. Just give me a point. Come on, man. Why not? You know? <laughs> Come on. Please. Please. Now, if you guys are in the chat, I don't yeah. know if you saw this, but we have a new score counting machine, which is me. So under Chris Cass's name, under Zach's name, <laughs> I need the chat to help me count because I'm a couple rummers in. So, you know how that goes, Greg. <laughs> All right, moving on. Question two Hulk Hogan's famous ring entrances uh, in the Hulkamania years involve him ripping off a t shirt and tossing it to the crowd. But when he wrestled as a heel in the early 80s, his attire was a little different. What did he wear to the ring then? 
early 80s, what do you wear to the ring? Not the Hulkamania t-shirt. This wasn't when he was the Hulkster. This is something different. EJ Reed, what's up, brother? He's in there. He's he's answering. Damien's answering. Scott's answering. Chaos is answering. All right, guys. Lift those answers. Let's see what you got. I know, you know this that one. one. Okay, Des, we'll start off with you. What do you got? I got a cap. A cap. Okay. okay. <laughs> what does Zach have? White trunks. <laughs> okay. What does uh, Chris Cass have? A cape. Points to Des and Chris Cass. As soon as I see Chris with the cape, I'm like, oh, okay. You I got it. I got this one. I think I got it. <laughs> well, you're really giving no, no love to Zach. No respect over there. <laughs> It's been trash talking dude, he, since pre-show, man. Dude, he got the first one I didn't, you know, so I It's don't the know. same thing he fucking wore as Thunderlips and Rocky. Dude, Spenny just wrote Thunderlips. That's true. Yeah. Cast in the lead with two. Dez with one, Zach with one. <laughs> Move on to question three, boys. Who was the oldest WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Or who is? Oh, who is? No. Who, who's been the oldest? WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I think I know this one. Oh, it's not too tough. I, I, you know what? I didn't fact check this one, so the chat might get on my ass. I took this from a trivia site, so I hope I'm right, because that site might be a bit old. But who, 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 who's got shit in the chat? Jesus Christ, Chaos Theory. Come on, I think we all shouldn't. I think I mean, I maybe mean, it's wrong. I just thought this right, is a very up, obvious. Then. Let's one. see. Hold it up, Des. You're gonna answer first. Who do you got? I got Vince McMahon. Zach? I too got Vince McMahon. And Chris Cass? Vin Vince McMahon. Oh, you know what's nice about this? I don't have to fact check. That's the same answer I had, guys. You all got it correct. Booked as you can see, I win. As you can see, I scratched out Hulk Hogan because for a second I was wondering about the undisputed championship, but no, it's still Vince. <laughs> yeah, he's old as fuck. <laughs> no, Mondo, don't know. They can't see the chat. No, they can't see the chat. Mondo, uh, he joined us uh, on our on our uh, post show for Survivor Series. I, I I sent him the invite to this. He is here. Welcome to uh, Trivia Mania, buddy. No, they cannot see the answers and cheat. Mondo Dondo, Mondo Dondo. a new friend yeah, of ours. Yeah, he came in uh, on Sunday when we were doing the Survivor Series post show on Sportscaster. Awesome. Oh, cool. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mondo. Mondo. All right, guys. Let's move on to question four. Okay. Who was the special guest ring enforcer during the main event at the 1994 Survivor Series? Special guest ring enforcer at the 94 Survivor Series. No chaos. You can't see the C word on Twitch. I mean, I could allow it in chat, but then I'm probably breaking rules myself. Fuck, I think one of the first, like, fucking trivia manias I was on, it was fucking blocking out Macho Man. No way, really? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the fuck was up with that. It was Sportscaster, I think, not Twitch. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Sportscaster is usually pretty lenient, so I'm surprised. The Scots got it in the chat. Well done, my man. I'm going to ask for answers, guys. Let's go. Whiteboard's up, Des. Whiteboard's up, I remember Zach. this just because I remember the kick. I know this because I remember right, the kick. All right, flip it up. What do we got over there on Zach? Chuck Norris. Des. Chuck Norris. Chris Cass. Chuck Norris. You're all incorrect. No it's, way. It's, it's, Chuck, him. it's Chuck Norris. I'm fucking with you. We're okay. Good. Oh. It's, okay. The correct answer was Walker. That's Texas right. Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have AIDS. Isn't he like super old too? Like 80, in his late 80s now or something? Like, Is he? I don't know. I remember he's always looked really, really young, but he was really, really old in reality. I don't know. He definitely was an 80 in 94 though. No, I know. He looked pretty old in The Expendables, his little cameo there. I've never seen that movie. No, neither did I. I heard it's good, though. Yeah, you're missing out. It's fun. Yeah, I heard it's I've good. I've never yeah. seen any movies. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go with question five. <laughs> We're ripping through round one here. Um, who did Randy Savage face off against at WrestleMania 10, and what kind of match was it? You need to nail them both to get the one point. Randy Savage, WrestleMania 10. Who did he fight, and what kind of match was it? Damian Cage has half the answer correct. Guys, if you're in the chat and you're not chatting, just sh shout me out with a hello. 
And if you want to be really friendly with us, uh, hit that follow button. Be much appreciated. We're trying to hit affiliate here on Twitch, so the more the better. The Scott's got the answer. Of course he's got the fucking answer. All right. Damien Cage, thanks for the follow, buddy. I like how you listen. Zach, Dez, Chris, answers up. Let's see. I'm going to get to oh, finish it. Up. Oh. I was going to say, well, I'll say mine. I think it's wrong now. Look at this. But I was going to say the Ultimate Warrior, um, the career match. But that wasn't WrestleMania. Incorrect. So. I'd made the same mistake. Oh. Yeah. I made the exact same mistake. So, Warrior career like, The answer is Crush. And it was a False Count Anywhere match. But it was more like a Texas death match, False Count Anywhere. Because you had to pin the guy somewhere. And then he had 10 seconds to get back to the ring. So I remember this one now. Actually, I should have got this. This is the one where he ties him up and he exactly. falls down, right? They, they yeah. botched it like a motherfucker. But yes, uh, that, you know what, to tell you the truth. Good job, Chris. Yeah, good job, Chris. That is a cool type of match, and I wish it would bring that back. Yeah, it's kind of like combines like a Texas death match. Is that what it's called? I've never, I've never heard. I ne- I- yeah, it's where it's where you pin the guy, and he has 10. It's like um, it's like a regular match combined with a last man standing where you have to pin them first, then they start a 10 count. I like count. it. That's smart. Should bring this back. Uh, Yeah, only Scott in the chat's got that. Chaos, What's what's going on, buddy? Scott says it was 60 seconds to get back cast. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Scott. Guess who's here? Mm, not, not you. Scott. Not you. Scott's definitely not getting rusty. Shots fired. Yeah, Scott was flexing hard. He would answer stuff and then write us like a fucking blurb underneath it. He's good, man. Yeah, he's he's good. good. Not good enough, though. Uh, question six. Who eliminated the most people during the 2004 Royal Rumble. Chaos Theory says he's very elevated. Sorry, what was that, Chris? 2004. 2004. You're not even fucking close to your area. I said that sometimes there'll be questions that aren't in the theme. Come on, you've hosted trivia. It's hard. Yeah. It's a hard job, guys. Scott's got it. Of course he's got it. All right, guys, answers up. Let's see what we got here. This is a complete guess. Let's start off with Chris yeah, put, Cass. I put Big Show. Dez. Okay, I, I'm I'm putting the winner and assuming he eliminated a lot of people, so I got Benoit. And Zach. That's a good pick too. That is a good pick, but Dez picks it up. It was Chris oh. Nice yeah. with the educated guess, my brother. Well, I, he won, so I figured he was in the longest. Maybe he got the most eliminations. I don't know. It's a good Makes way to sense. think of he it. He was there at number one, too, right? Yeah, he was number one, exactly. There for the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, the Scott had it right in the chat. Chaos Theory ain't answering tonight because he's too lazy to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> he's elevated, right, you said? Isn't That's that it. it. That's why. That's it. Yeah. All elevated. right, so uh, we are here with Chris Cass with five points, Dez with four, and Zach with a hmm. respectable three. So this is a this is a contest, guys. Lots to go. Let's move on to question seven. At King of the Ring, nineteen ninety seven, who did Hunter Hearst Helmsley defeat in the finals? Now, Chris, uh, are we within the era? No, you're not. Yes, we are. Nineteen ninety seven. What you said? Ninety seven. Yeah, ninety seven. Ninety seven is not new generation. Ninety seven is new generation. All right, it's kind of like on the cups. It's the last it's like, year of new generation. It's the last. It's like the year. people that. It's like the people that say two thousand and two is ruthless or uh, two thousand early two thousand two is uh, attitude era still. Listen, I'm going by Wikipedia here, boys. Yeah, what, whatever, man, <laughs> whatever. Chaos says I am too lazy for Google. That's not a lie, guys. Answers up. I'm going to start with my boy Zach. What do you got, buddy? Mankind's the answer. Oh, he's uh, he's confident. Des, what do you got? I got uh, Mr. Mankind. And Christopher. Little Mrs. Foley's baby boy. Mrs. Mankind. Foley's baby boy. You're all correct. Point for each of you. Here we go. That was one of my most me- mo- my most enjoyable and memorable King of the Ring tournaments. I really liked that one. Yeah, That was when they used to have it. Well, they did it later on. I think with like The Rock, Shamrock, X-Pox and all that shit later on. But I like when they used to actually have the semifinals in the pay-per-view King of the Ring and then the finals. That was cool. Remember when they used to have the pay-per-view King of the Ring? That was good, too. Uh, one of my favorites. I just don't like it because it's a stupid, cheesy gimmick where, like, whoever wins, now it's like, we got nothing for you to do. 
carry the yeah. scepter around for the next yeah. year. Like Sheamus fucking, did it, Barrett did it. Now yeah. Corbin's still doing it. Fucking Kurt Angle did it for like a week, and then they were like, "Yeah, fuck this shit." <laughs> yeah. The only person it worked with was Booker, but yeah. What are you talking about? Owen Hart was amazing. Bret Hart was amazing. Bret Hart would have, nah. But Owen I Hart could like, pull it off. Yeah, Owen even because he was going by week. the King of Hearts, right? And even for that week, you got to give Kurt Angle credit. He made everything work. Yeah. The Scott in the chat backing me up says, great new generation moment. Fuck you, Scott. <laughs> King Mabel. EJ Reese is King yourself. Mabel. Yeah, King Mabel was great. All right, guys, let's move on to question eight. The only title change ever on Saturday night main event featured Shawn Michaels beating the British Bulldog. Which title was it that changed hands? So you could take a shot in the dark here. You got like a 25% chance of nailing this. Yeah, King Macho was the shit too. You guys are crazy. I don't think that King of the Ring is a cheesy. It's a classic, man. It's a classic. Can you repeat the question? It was a it was a Saturday Night Main Event. Saturday Night Main Event. The only time a title change ever happened on Saturday Night Main Event. Shawn okay. Michaels versus right. British Bulldog. Just making was sure. Title. Greg Cherry. Greg Cherry. Welcome to the chat, buddy. Greg Cherry's got it. Scott's got it. That's pretty easy. Is it okay? Yeah, I mean, you kind of gave it yeah. to us with the uh, when you said the guys. Okay. All right. Flip it up. Let's see what you got. <laughs> uh, let's go with Chris Cass. Back. Uh, Intercontinental. Yes. I have Intercontinental because I thought maybe it was the European, but that was at one night only, right? So. And Zach. Oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I got European and, Championship, and uh, Des just outlined why I'm completely wrong there. <laughs> and how how dirt booking was that? Where they go to the UK and put Shawn Michaels over on the British Bulldog in that match? It was like, ah, oh, it was. Michaels was like a, a heat magnet back there. You take it all. It is insane. Fuck Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I'll never forget the screw job, baby. Fuck Shawn Michaels, man. <laughs> Scott in the chats congratulating Craig uh, on 1,000. I guess he went 1,000 days as the champ. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, that, that's that's where I was before here. I was in his post game show. Congratulations. 1,000. That's nice. Three. That's a long time. Just under yeah, three years. Say. Yeah, just under Thank three you. years. Yeah. Good job, days Greg so. Cherry. Greg Cherry's the man. He'll be on Triple Mania again for sure. Yeah, but you know, he tends to lose on this show. <laughs> oh. It's a different beast. Is that a thousand days on no DQ? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a flex. All right, here we go. Number nine. <laughs> Who did Diesel defeat to win the WWE Championship in 1994? Diesel, Big Daddy Cool, Shawn Michaels' bodyguard, and Gimp. Who did he beat in 1994 <laughs> to become the WWF at the time champion? That's no joke, Greg. Congratulations. That's fucking huge, man. That's fucking awesome. All right, guys. Answers up. Let's see what we got here. All right, I see that we all have the same answer. Des with a flex. You all got it right. It is Bob Backlund. Des, no bonus points. Bob for that Backlund. Five seconds, I don't know if it's yeah. actually five seconds, but it seemed like it was, it was like something like seconds. that. I think yeah. it was. Yeah, it was a flash knockout. Do we know if there was a story behind that? Was it like he injured or they just wanted to put Diesel over big or Backlund did something bad to piss people off in the backstage? Like what happened there? As far as I know, it was just to get the title off Brett onto Diesel without having Brett lose to Diesel. So Brett didn't want to do the job, or they were, were they protecting Brett? I don't know exactly, but it was the whole thing that fucking Backlund lost the title him because Owen threw the towel in or whatever, or his mom did, or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. Damien. So. <laughs> his mom threw in the towel. Imagine that. Your I don't mom runs down and throws in the towel. <laughs> mom! <laughs> did, well, didn't Brett's mom throw in the towel? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Owen made her. That yeah. bastard. Damien Cage. So what a rivalry. Don't worry, bro. I updated it after the question. He's here counting the score for you, Chris. This guy's really uh, nobbling the balls. Huh. See? Yeah, well, he's here to support me, you know? <laughs> the Scott says it was eight seconds. I even, I even messaged him. I got a special thing for Damien Cage. When we go into round two, I'm going to have a different shirt on. It's going to be some uh, wardrobe changes here. Yeah. And Scott also called you a transitional champion. Des. Who? Des. 
Oh. Uh, he's probably right. <laughs> EJ Reed, Brett, the ultimate mark, probably didn't want a job to Nash. Fucking right. Who wants a job to Nash? Nob- Nash was a knob, man. No? Okay. Uh, question 10, final <laughs> round. <laughs> final question of round one. You guys are giving me nothing. Uh, in a ruling that involved SummerSlam 1993, Jack Tunney ruled that Lex Luger couldn't use his forearm in the match against Yokozuna. Is this true or is this false? I'll reread the question. In a ruling that involved SummerSlam 1993, Jack Tunney ruled that Lex Luger could not use his forearm in his match against Yokozuna. And if you're unfamiliar with why, he had a steel plate in his forearm. Well, oh, he, he really did? Off by like who the person was. Yeah, he really did. He was, he was in like a motorcycle accident or some shit. And they had to Didn't put they have in. Bob Backlund use that later on too or something? Uh, not Bob Backlund, sorry, Bob Hawley. He had some, like, uh, he might he had have, some yeah, metal thing in his arm it. and he started doing it. Yeah, because it's when Kurt Angle did a moonsault and landed on it and fucking broke it. Yeah, yeah, that was nasty. He also got like that dirty power bomb from Brock where he like broke his neck, was didn't he? Like Bob Holly got, and he got his back lacerated open too. Like that guy got a lot of shit. Bob Holly was a bitch. All right, guys, true or false? Answers up. Let's go. Zach, what do you got? I got true. Dez. Nope. That false. is the completely uh, wrong answer because it's not even a word. Chris Cass, what do you got? <laughs> I got false because I believe that was when he was a heel, but he was a face then. It is actually false. The ruling was oh. that he could use it, but needed to wear a protective pad over his forearm. So points to yeah. Cass, points to Dez. I figured you're being too easy with that. I was like, because I really, I, I don't know this one to be honest with you, but I figured that would be too easy to be a true. So I just kind of gambled on that one. Well, it was a fifty-fifty. It was a coin toss. Yeah. Zach, you got no luck yeah. tonight, buddy. Yeah, man, I kind of gambled on the last one, too, and I, I guess I've just kind of, like, blanked out on uh, most of Lex Luger's run in WWF. Lex Luger's run in WWF was the Among best. other things. I fucking loved it. I was never a Luger fan. Never. I liked him in WCW, uh, begrudgingly. I had other guys I was supporting, but, yeah, I didn't care for his WWF run. When Lex Luger had the Lex Express, I remember being in the States, and all I wanted to see on the highway was that fucking bus. I was like, that would have made... I wonder, I wonder if the rumor is actually true that the Lex Express became, if you guys remember, in 2000, the DX Express. They, someone said that was the same fucking bus. I wouldn't be surprised. I can see McMahon holding on to that. I, see tri- I don't know. I see Triple H being like, I want my own bus. And they'd be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Greg Cherry, you're right. He did use it and he won by count out. Uh, Yokozuna didn't have to give up the title because he was knocked out. but Or he was counted out, sorry. Um, but that brings us to the end of round one. Uh, tallying up the scores, Chris Cass in the lead with not, excuse me with nine points. Dez right up his ass with eight. Zach a respectable five, fifty percent. Not bad, my brother. A respectable five. That was my nickname in high school. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. We're getting here somewhere. Only took a round to get into it before we got some dick jokes. Um, <laughs> That makes you the loser of the round. That means our boy JP from... Well, there goes a microphone. Hold on. Let's get Zach back here. We're good. I'm here. That means Zach's the loser of the round. We're going to bring JP from Kayfabe Chronicles in. He's got a question for you for bonus points. You don't have to write on the board. You can just answer it. These are are usually tough as balls, so I'm warning you. Here we go. All right. Listen, it's an audio one. Hey, hey, Talkamaniacs, this is JP from Kayfabe Chronicles. We're going to start it off with a little bit of an easier one. What was the first Survivor Series to not feature legendary wrestler (laughs) Hulk Hogan? Did you catch that? That's an easy one. Yeah, I caught that. (laughs) Saying that's an easy one. Um, It's funny because right before the show, you were like, I know stuff, but I don't know it in order and when it happened. And this is like legitimately that kind of question. But he was making those puke sounds. I thought this was going to be a draws question. I thought it was too, man. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, a shot in the dark here. I'm going to say 93. The guys in the chat said 93 as well. You're so fucking close. Chris, do you know what it is? Yeah, it's 92, the fucking Wembley one. Uh, 
Des, did you have any idea? No, yeah, man. Me neither. No. Nope. It, it nope. is, in fact, 1992. No bonus points for Zach. But again, a respectable five. You're batting 500, bud. It's not bad. Yeah. I, there, There's still time for the comeback. There, it's going to happen. There's been people I believe in who me. have had less points after the second round. I'm talking to you, Chaos. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take our first break of the night. When we come back, we'll start round two, which is a new segment here on Trivia It is the Who Am I round. We'll be right back after this. Woo. I'm just answering draws to everything in the second round. <laughs> I like how you know that I like to answer draws on everything. <laughs> I just loved in that last one how like you kept answering draws, and then the one that was draws, you didn't put draws. I know. I, I've done so many that have been like Mavel. No, what's his name? Maven or Drabel? Maven? In oh, all Maven, the themes. Yeah. All right. I got to get back. Man. Usually it's J-Bomb running to the washroom. We haven't broken nope. the seal yet? Nope. Not yet. We are drinking hard liquor, right? So it's less volume. Oh, shit. Apparently we're still live. Hello? <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Let me transition. All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are. It's round two, baby, where points are worth double in a new segment. Oh, boy. What's that, Des? That, oh, boy. In a segment I like to call, Who Am I? Here we go. Question one, round two. Uh, During the mid and late 1990s, I held the WWF tag team titles with no less than three different partners. Jeff Jarrett, British Bulldog, and Yokozuna. Who am I? That is a super softball. I ha- yep, that's a great softball. Bro, I, Don't fuck I'll up take that. softballs at this point. I have five points. I, I have to throw this dude in every fucking episode. It's it's only right. And you should, and you should, and you should. Been talking about him like five minutes ago, not enough for you? No, I love him. I love him. Uh, Chris Cass, who do you have with the softball question? Owen Hurt. Dez. Enough. 
is enough. And it's time for a change. I am not a nugget. I want hurt. <laughs> okay. And uh, our boy Zach, what do you got, buddy? Owen Hart's all around. Yeah, buddy. Everybody gets the points. The greatest Canadian ever, Owen Hart, says Chaos Theory. Damien Cage got it. The Scott got it. 80 Proof, what's up, Rucker? Yeah, he got it too. All right, moving on. Oh, Rucker's here. I changed Hulk Hogan out, Rucker, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you shit, what, in a Zoom call? Yeah, and then the post show last there you time. Go. Uh, all right, guys. He goes, my man. <laughs> That's what 80 says. Uh, all right. Who am I? I was the original wrestler to be the vehicle for the long-awaited arrival of Bobby Heenan in September 1984. However, blood clots in my lungs sidelined me for several months. When I returned, I chose to be a controversial color commentator for the next five years. Who am I? The original vehicle for the arrival of Bobby Heenan in 1984 due to some medical shit he couldn't do it but became a controversial color commentator for the next five years who am I I'll give you a couple more seconds guys in the chat got it I want to see those answers boys flip them over let's start off with Zach Zach who do you got buddy Oh, fuck, of course. <laughs> well, now I'm kicking myself because I just got a bunch of scribbles right there. <laughs> well, scribbles is not the answer. It's Sal. Dez. Are you sure? <laughs> I'd like a recount. Oh, oh, nice. Dez, who do you got? The only one I could think of, Jesse Ventura. And who do we got over on Chris Cass? Uh, Jesse Ventura. You are correct, guys. Good job. I thought that was an easy one. I thought that was easier kicking than the myself. Owen Hart one. No, that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. For me, at least. I just was like, who do I... Yeah, it's the only one I could think of. So. Mondo Dondo got it. Scott got it. 80 proof. Lord Alfred Hayes. Good, good, good try. But no. Lord Alfred Hayes, right? What, what do you say when you introduce everybody to the Coliseum videos? I mean, PS... PS you mean uh, Michael Hayes? Pr promotional consideration paid for yeah. by the following. Lord cool. Alfred Hayes. <laughs> Not Michael Hayes. Is that same person as Michael oh. Hayes? Like the yeah. Bro, you no? don't remember Lord Alfred Hayes? There you go, guys. Lord Alfred Hayes was like the blonde British guy. There you go. Yeah. Should have asked me that question to stump oh. me. <laughs> Who is the blonde British <laughs> <Yeah>. guy? <laughs> to stump Dez <laughs> for five points. Regal. William Regal. All right, guys, here we go. Question three, who am I? In the late 1980s, I was one half of the most successful team in the era. Together with my partner, Bill Idy. We won the WWF Tag Team titles three times between 1988 and 1990. In 1991, I was repackaged as a rather cartoonish character, which had mild success and lasted just about 15 months. Who am I? Uh, the, the one person or the team? Let me reread that. In the late 1980s, I was one half of the most successful team in the era. Together with my partner, Bill Idy, we won the WWF Tag Team titles three times Shit, between 1988 and 1990. Listen closely. In 1991, I was repackaged as a rather cartoonish character, which had mild success and lasted just about 15 months. Can, can I say their repackage name? That is what I'm looking for. You want to flex? Okay. flex. No. What? You want to repackage Dude, name? Dude, listen to the question. Oh, okay. In 1991, I was repackaged as a rather cartoonish character. So we're talking kayfabe here. So they're looking for the repackaged name in this question. Okay. I'm giving away quite a bit here. Oh. That's good because the other guys, I don't know their fucking <laughs> names, their real names to know which one's fucking which. So I'm like, all right. Like, uh -oh. Yeah, me neither. I know, what team, I know what team it is, but I don't. EJ Reed, if you listen to the question, uh, Greg Perry... Uh, Greg Perry. Greg Barry's got it. Damien's got it. Greg Cherry's got it now. Okay, guys, flip up your answers. Let's see what we got. Fuck. I got nothing, man. I got the team name, Demolition. That's all oh. I know what's wrong. Chris Cass, what do you got, my man? Repo Man. <laughs> Dez. Oh, man. Demolition. Is that a cartoon? Is it a cartoon? Repo Man? It's cartoonish. I, I, got, I, I, I put it Demolition. It's wrong. It's wrong. But it's somebody from it Demolition. Is. So that's one. Th Zach, who do you yeah. got, buddy? Uh, two in a row. I'm kicking myself, man. I put Adam Baum. 
Why? Uh, I, I have no. I have no. Street Fighter Man's not cartoony. I was thinking. Yeah, he is. He's totally yeah, yeah. a gimmick. He's, He's a cartoon. So cartoony. Yeah, I know. I know. I yeah, know. no controversy on yeah. this answer. What's mine is mine, and what yours is mine too. Just like that title right beside you, Diz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Greg Cherry's. Uh... Oh, any proof got it right? Yeah, right. Greg Cherry's asking him a pretty weird question here. And I'm finding out a lot about the guy, but he said, did you ever hear that one Japanese song, which is basically a K-pop version of Repo Man's theme? Uh, I guess Great Cherry's into K-pop. Is that is that a thing? Is is K-pop something that's popular? Someone find the link and Pop play it during the next round. So. <laughs> play it between the next two so, rounds. That's a lot of work. I mean, I'm just I'm just trying to keep up with getting your fucking numbers. I'm interested in that, though, Great Cherry. DM me that. I would love to hear that song. It's, it's Japanese, so send me of course. That shit. Flip into my DMs. Of course, uh, Des wants to see it. Um, all right, guys. Question four, round two. Here we go. Who am I? In the late 1990s, I became a huge fan favorite with WWE fans, mostly due to my hardcore style and lack of fear that I had placed on serious injury. I was trained by legendary WWE star of the 1970s, Dominic DiNucci, and I've written several best-selling books. By now, you probably mm. know who I am. However... In the fall of 1986, I wrestled as a jobber on a handful of WWE telecasts, most notably losing to Kamala and the British Bulldogs. Who was I known as? Sorry, who was I known as in these bouts? So I think the beginning of it is pretty simple. I'll reread the end. By now, you probably know who it is from the beginning. However, in the fall of 1986, I know who it is, but I don't know what, what their I don't know what what they what they went on. In the fall of 1986, okay. he wrestled as a jobber on a handful of WWE telecasts, most notably losing to Kamala and the British Bulldogs. What was the name of this dude during that era? Guys, if you don't know it, I'm sorry. Answers up. Let's see what we got. Uh, Start over with Zach. Zach, what do you got, buddy? Wasn't Dewey King, was it? <laughs> Great answer. I love it. Dez, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> I got Mick Foley. I know it was him. I just don't know what his name he was using. Close. See, I'm pretty sure I knew this, and I think it's Jack Foley. It is Jack Foley. Chris Gass with the two points. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Good job, Chris. Thank you. Thank Zach, you. I love it. You play the same strategy as me. When I know I don't know it, I just try and make a joke, and I love it, and I appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, no, that was, that was a, my answer, uh, man. He's like, what are you talking that was a, about? Yeah, the Mick totally Foley going the, uh, for a joke. Greatest hits and misses. It was one of the one that came when he came back for his run in two thousand four. That was one of the extras on the DVD. All right, Chris, you got you got to flex while you're saying those facts. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking tattoo China doll has the greatest name ever. It's the Taint Tickler. That was her guess. That was what I was Me gonna too. put down. Greg Cherry Brand says Cass is a beast. Yes, he's he's beasting this up. But hey. No discredit to yeah. Des. There's only a five point spread. Zach's still in this. Don't forget. I'm telling you, man. I'm happy with my performance. I think I'm doing pretty decent. So you know what? I knew I had a, a tall order coming in here against Mr. Uh, Cass and Zach as well too was an unknown, right? So, anyways, we'll see how things go. We might have a turn here, guys, because as you know, on round two, Trivia loves the themes. I'm sticking with the Who Am I? But it's more. This was my theme song. So for the next five questions, their themes, and whose themes are they? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is what hurt Greg Cherry. I think it hurt Greg Cherry. This is what destroyed Chris Rucker, and this is what got me almost, almost in the money in the bank. But here we go, guys. Question five, and this is not the beginning of the theme. I've put, I've taken a section of the theme. There's about ten to fifteen seconds of each. If you need it replayed, I'll replay it, but only once. Here we go. This was my theme. <laughs> Chris is looking a little Man, bit. I've, I've heard this before, but I like don't fucking know. Okay. I think I got it. Greg Cherry's got it. The Scots got it. Andy Proof says, fuck themes. I love it. Damien Cage has it. Does anybody need to hear it again, or are we good to go? 
I'm good. We're good. Okay, flip it up, guys. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, thank God. All right, Chris Cass, read it out. Mm. Smoking Dez. Guns. I put Rockabilly, but then I it's smoking guns. And Zach? Spark, bub, spark plug Bob Holly. I'm embarrassing myself tonight, man. <laughs> it is, in fact, oh, we love Spark here, man. Plug Bob Holly. <laughs> oh, good, man. No, no it's, way. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's the not. smoking guns. Oh, damn it. Can't do that to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Two points apiece for Chris and Dez. This is this is getting down to the wire. Zach, I mean, I believe in you, bro, but <laughs> you're very kind. <laughs> it wins in the final question. I've been there. I'll drive to your house tomorrow and give you the title if you win. To Zach? Ooh, they got a date. <laughs> All right, guys. Next one. Question six. This is my theme. It's a banger, boys. Yeah, it's good. It's good. EJ Reed comes in. He goes, I only know major star themes pre-attitude. And he fucking nails it. The Scots got it. Greg Cherry Brand's got it. Everybody's got it. This, oh, is, this is, is, it? is an easy one. Okay. All right, easy. Yeah. Let's see Dez's answer. Let's go. Flip him up. Yeah, man, for sure. I got this. Oh, he even spelled it like his fucking pyro uh, Dez, thing, too. Dez, yeah. Chris, and Psycho Zach's got Sid. it. It is, in fact, Psycho Sid. I'll be honest. I just wanted to play that on the show. It's so <laughs> freaking good. Hold on. I am the ruler of the power. What do you say? The, the master world? and ruler master of the and world. The ruler of the world, yeah. The master and ruler of the world. Dude, his Fucking that was pretty good. promos were so good when he's spitting out shit. I love that guy. And then his son. Oh, he's also responsible for some of the worst promos too. Yeah, we're <laughs> live, pal. Uh, legendary. We're talking about it already. I mean, still, come on. Greg Cherry just popped for Dez. He said Sid was trash besides his size and theme. EJ Reed, that's true, but I always liked Psycho Sid. All right, guys, here we go. This one's a little bit different. One of my favorite all-time themes. This. I'll know this. This was my exit music. We all had the album. We all had that yellow album, eh, Des? (laughs) <laughs> 80 proof pod says the Bella twins because <laughs> I was telling you it was my favorite theme pretty much that's the theme song of their career <laughs> so good uh, okay guys answers up let's start with Zach what do you got my brother mankind yes. mankind out oh, Man. I'm coming home and Chris Cass you guys mankind. all got it right congratulations did anybody else have that album I think it was volume two. Oh yeah, for sure. That was, that was three. The the volume volume three. It was I a yellow was, CD, it? man. It was so good, man. Oh, was it the LCD? The LCD was the one with like Bret yeah, Hart, that's Shawn on Michaels, the same one. It's on the same one. Uh, no, no, it well, isn't. No, it isn't. Mankind's on that one. There's no way he wasn't even around during that area. So either he's on volume two or he's yeah, on full volume metal, three. Volume, volume two. two could. Hold on. Okay. Let me find it. WWF. We could do our own fact checks here. Full Metal, the album. It was not the same one as the... It was not the yellow one. Hold on. That had, like, Mabel on it. Like, that was old school. That was the one when they did the rap. They did the song together. Why, boy, where the door to your eyes? Heart Attack, Bret Hart, Psycho Sid, Blues. Jeff Jarrett. You're right, you son of a bitch. Points? No? No, no points. You go fuck yourself. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You fucking ass. Okay, back to the show. Volume two is on Amazon Music. I may have a few of those on my playlist. Yeah, Greg, can you can you be our fact checker, Greg? Can you do this for us? Isn't he always our yeah, fact checker? Actually, actually, fact check. Mm. Let me know, uh, guys in the chat. Let me know what um, what album Mankind's outro music was on. I think it was his intro and outro. I don't remember. Anyways, let's move on. All right, guys. This is my entrance theme. Who am I? Oh. 
Everybody in the chat said it was volume two, Des. I said three, and then I went to two. Did I say volume two? No, you said one. You said the yellow one. Oh, the yellow, yellow one is the first. The first okay, well, one. I, I thought it was the second. Yeah, one. yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, people got in the chat. Uh, let's see. A I'm done. Let's it's go. easy. Yeah. All right, all three of you motherfuckers got it. It's Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> the yeah. Pearl River powerhouse. I feel bad for Zach because he's he's getting him, but so are the other two. So he's not. Well, I I've got bad points, for I Ahmed. Actually, I don't feel bad. I feel bad for his opponents because he was such a stiff worker. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about Thanks. <laughs> Chris Cass, 25. Dez, 20. Zach with a 13. Greg Cherry said, I did say two. I, I'm in volume two. I, yeah, dude. You said the yellow one. When you started, you said the yellow one. I thought that was it. Unless, unless the yellow one was volume I thought it two. Was. I don't Anyways. know. All right, guys. Let's move this on. Number nine, second to last. Here we go. This is my theme. Who am I? Pretty sure I'm gonna fuck on all you with you bastards thinking my shit is easy. This is not an easy one. <laughs> so this one's for the host. Can you play it one all more right. time? Yeah, play it. Play it again. Greg Cherry got it. Good on you, buddy. Very well done. All right, we heard it twice, guys. Answers up. Let's see it. Shot, Shot in the dark, dark here. here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, okay, what do you got on Chris Cass? I got a Texas Des. Tornado. I got a Flash Funk. I just, I just. It's not a bad I answer because Damien Cage, Damien Cage answered the same one. What do we got over on Zach's? Zach was the closest. Out. It is a laundry blaze. Uh, oh, fuck. Close. God. You got her. You were thinking the right thing with all those matches back in the day. So your your brain went the Bull right way. Bull is awesome. Bull is awesome. Bull Did you see, like, uh, you see recent pictures of her? She aged fucking <laughs> Yeah, backwards. she's odd now. <laughs> yeah, she's super thin now, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like a professional golfer now, too? Oh, yeah? No way. Yeah. I would love to see her and Asuka in their prime. Like, right? Holy shit. Up. Yeah, yeah. Final question around two. This one's not an easy one either, guys. This is my theme. Who am I? Doesn't get any different than that. That's all you're getting. The 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 chat is has no idea. Eighty proof, you are incorrect. Okay. Everyone's ready. I'm guessing. Just throw those guesses guess. up. Let's yeah. go, Chris. What do you got, buddy? Bushi. Oh bad. wow, me and Zach and he actually guessed the same thing. Des and I, yeah, Zach. Yeah. Wow. Papa Shango, yeah. Papa Shango, each are all incorrect. It was uh, the greatest, the greatest challenger to the Undertaker. It was Giant Gonzalez. Giant Gonzalez. Fuck. Oh, that's why we don't know, because we don't care. Right? Dude, Giant Gonzalez versus The Undertaker was the bomb, uh, man. Was I it WrestleMania 9? I didn't even think that. I, I remember spending so much time team. looking at that bodysuit being like, is that real? Is that not real? Does <laughs> well, he have a lot question, of pubes? Man. Like, what's the I, deal? I just thought he came out to fucking silence, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> with Harvey Whippleman? Man, I miss Harvey Whippleman. So good. Mondo you thought Mr. Vina? Fuji. You mean Hervina? Yeah. Hervina. Hervina, yeah. Yeah, I even stumped Greg Cherry. Oh, fuck all y'all. I wouldn't have known that either, though. I would have picked Maven. Uh, <laughs> or Draws. Or Draws. Uh, okay, so after round two, a respectable 13 from Zach, 20 from Dez, doing very well. Chris Cass with 25. This is a tight race. No one's out of it heading into round three. Um I'm a little out of it. No, come on. No. You could bet it all okay. and, and beat them both. So, 
That's true. That's Here true. we go. Bonus question number two for Zach and Zach only. Worth two 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 points. It's another question from Kayfabe, so good fucking luck, buddy. Here we go. It's oh, another audio. Thank you. Let's do it. Hey, hey, Talk Maniacs. This is JP from Kayfabe Chronicles, the forever silver medalist in Trivamania. Now, the 1988 Survivor Series is often remembered for the epic tag team Survivor Series match that lasted almost 45 minutes. This match featured a famous double turn. Which team became face at the end of the match and which team became heel? Damn. Can you hear it again? We should just hire him for all our questions, no, right? Like, that's it would be zeros across the board. <laughs> I've actually named. I've actually answered yeah. all these questions correctly. So, yeah, this is tough as nails, man. Um, you want to hear it again? I'm gonna say, uh, no, no, no. Cause I'm, it's not gonna help. You, you got to name the again. team that turned um, face and the team that turned uh, heel. Uh, I'm gonna say the team that turned face, uh, Heart Foundation. The team that turned heel, Demolition. Eighty proof says Jay, you've also had the most chances to answer his questions. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. The <laughs> Scott got it. Um, you you got demolition, but they turned okay. face in this match, not heel. And powers of pain. Oh, okay. turn heel. So valiant effort, but no okay. points. So at the end of round two, again, Chris cast twenty five, Des with twenty. I did better than I would have done. Actually, I probably would have guessed demolition. <laughs> Zach with thirteen. We're about to enter round three, but we will take another break when we get back. Three points a question, guys. <clears throat> you got seven attempts to get a total of 21 points. It's the big one. We'll be right back after this. For the year that y'all loving to hate If you fucking with the team, you catch your boots to the face Rebound from the boot, I hit the Irish whip Don't be mad, cause we know your podcast ain't shit Stop hating, motherfucker, you know he the man RJ gon' hit you with that ringside rant And them two hard hitters repping Montreal Godfathers of the crew, making sure we ball If you still wanna hate, there's no saving ya You might get beat down, I'm talking mania Listen to the whole team, the cross body of work It'll make you realize that you should've been first And me, I cause chaos everywhere that I go 80 proof and no less got me ready to throw Don't step to the mic unless you want that smoke FPC, the whole team is like a knife to your throat Yeah! Alright guys, welcome back. Trivamania 8. Here we go. Heading into round 3. The the most important round, other than the final round, we're 3 points a shot, 7 questions total. Try to rebalance it here. Uh, if you aren't familiar with what you just heard, that's Chaos Theory. Mr. Chaos himself uh, wrote a little ditty for the boys over at FPC. If you aren't familiar with FPC... Uh, it's fullpresscoverage.com, the home of uh, Talkmania, Trivamania, and pretty much all the best podcasts out there. Uh, Zach and Chris, maybe you guys should join. 
Keep that in mind. But the uh, two-finger gun stuff has been good to me. <laughs> Sorry. I realized that halfway through that I'm looking at two other podcasters, and I'm like, ooh, maybe I'm flexing a little too hard. But anyways, round three, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, for the audio guys, Chris Cass with 25, Dez with 20, and Zach with 13. Here we go. Uh, actually, this question, hold on. This question was brought in from our friend Chad Henry. And he's been bugging me to put this on for a while. That's at the underscore Chad underscore 43 on the Twitter machine. Here he goes. Hi, Chad. Chad. Chad, if you're watching, say hi in the chat. Champa made his WWE debut in July of 2005. Yes, Chris, this is not in the theme. <laughs> he's already going to call saw you him. I saw his, his twitch in the face. Yeah. He's looking at his wife. <laughs> okay, Champa made his debut in WWE in July of 20, uh, 2005. He was hired to play the part of a lawyer. What was his name? Oh, my God. Oh, man. I know the segment he was with. I know who what yeah. happened to him. You can tell Chad to go <laughs> what fuck What a fucking himself. Chad, right? <laughs> All right, we got Irish Whip Podcast. What? What's up, brother? The Scots incorrect, obviously. Again, WWE debut 2005. Tommaso Ciampa, he was hired to play the part of a lawyer. What was his name? Not not the name of the dude he represented. What was the name of the dude he represented, guys? Mohammed Hassan. Correct. Go. But what was the lawyer's name? Guys, I got to see it. No one in the chat's gotten it. Throw it's it up. Garbage. Let's see what we got. I don't know, man. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start Come with Zach because that's the best. <laughs> it's Camaso Tiampa. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Des, what do you got, buddy? Three points, please. Camaso Tiampa. <laughs> um, I got... Uh, he's, he's known as the lawyer because that's, that's, that's what he is. He's the lawyer. He's the lawyer in the Chris ring. Chris Cass, what do you got, buddy? I got... I love it. That is correct. No, joking. Damien Cage got it, but he went questionably long. Mm. So I'm thinking he Googled it. But anyways, it's it's go, Thomas Dave. Whitney Esquire. Yeah, okay. Sure, oh, that was the second uh, I had. That's his real last name, too. Whitney? Pretty sure his, uh, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think it's Tomasa Whit Whitney. I don't know. Is that worth uh, points? Hard no, hard no, hard no. All right, so we okay. summed everybody again, guys. So we got Dryan Gonzalez. That was a really yeah, tough question. Here we go. Question. question number two. These questions were submitted by the Scott. So he's he's got this out for Des. Oh, here we no. go. It's going to be WCW, no. isn't it? What WrestleMania was the first, first WrestleMania to not feature the traditional Red, white, and blue ring ropes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to guess a number. Yeah, you, can, you can guess a number. Uh, what WrestleMania was the first WrestleMania to not feature the traditional red, white, and blue ring ropes? We got a bunch of people answering in the chat. So far, none of them are correct. And if any of these answers are wrong, I didn't fact check. This is on the Scott. All right, guys. Answers up. Let's guess. see what we got. I'll start off with my boy Zach from the Smart and Friends. Uh, am oh, I in the frame? Yeah. Fuckers. I went with nine. Des. I got eight. Chris I Cass. Out there. It is, in fact, WrestleMania 9. Congratulations, ah. Chris. Congratulations, Zach. Three points apiece. Zach is up to a respectable 16. The Scott says, you can trust me. I hope so. Nobody in the chat got it right. Wow, Mondo got it. They did, like, uh, the whole Roman uh, aesthetic, so, like, it makes sense that they departed yeah, they from the traditional stuff. I believe it was black and gold, was it? Like, I think they did black and gold for 9 th and 10. I think it was black and gold. The Scott's happy. He goes, LOL, everyone right but Des. So he's one for one. Hey, Scott. That's for you, buddy. You're supposed to rub your dick on his belt. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I've done something. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I don't think I want this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing wrong. I literally just got it like this afternoon, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Eighty proof says, "Why the fuck do y'all know this?" To be honest, I think Chris and Zach both took a guess. No, an educated I knew. guess. You knew? Yeah. I had a hunch. Okay. I didn't guess, but like I, I, I thought like the Roman aesthetic was the uh, was the giveaway there. These are like ridiculous questions. Like I don't know, man. That's like such fine details. <laughs> Well, two out of three of you knew, so I don't think it was that I know, ridiculous. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question three, also from the Scott. Who are the, and this has nothing to do with the theme, guys, Chris. Uh, who are the only three superstars to have won the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, and the King of the Ring? Whoa, all three of you so, in sync fucking went right to so the whiteboard. So funny story, I asked this question at my trivia once. Oh, did you really, dude? Yeah. Same thing. I hosted at question. Yeah, I hosted at Hurley's Pub in Montreal. I asked this very same question. Jesus, that sucks for you, Des. Again, (laughs) the only three superstars to have won the Royal Rumble: Money in the Bank and King of the Ring. Uh, EJ Reed wrote one name. (laughs) That's incorrect. Um, Well, it's not an incorrect answer, but you're missing two other ones. All right, guys. Des, I'll give you a second. I got two. I got two. I got two. I don't know the third one. Three. Uh, you got to get all three to get the three. Wait, two. three? Yeah, yeah three. three. Oh, shit. I heard two. Oh, no. Who are the Seems only like... three superstars? I'm giving you five seconds. Five, four, Count them out. three, two, Fuck. one. Yeah, I, I want to see those whiteboards in the air. Now, now, now. All right. I only got two, like I said. Chris Cass, what do you got? Seamus, Brock Lesnar, and Edge. You are correct. Des. Uh, Triple H. Uh, oh, yeah. Cena didn't win the King of the Ring. I'm a fucking idiot. Zach. Oh, Edge and Sheamus. Two Fuck, I wish three. I was paying attention. I was like so sure. I was like, oh, yeah, there's two of them. Wait, didn't Triple H win King of the Ring and Royal Rumble? He didn't win the Money in the Bank. On the Money in the I completely fucking forgot what the question was. <laughs> you guys got to pay attention. Yeah, I should on the question, man. Edge, Cena, and Brock from uh, 80 Proof. Very close, buddy. Very close. Cass is pulling away with 31. Des hasn't scored a point in some time. Still with 20. Yeah, Zach, I know. Valiant start. But you're kind of trickling off here in round three. Uh, here we go. Question four, also from the Scott. How many triple threat matches has Randy Orton competed in at WrestleMania? Now the submitted questions don't really have anything to do with the theme, so that's why they're 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 quite different. But how many triple threat matches has Randy Orton competed at in WrestleMania? EJ Reed's got an answer. Eddie Proof's got an answer. Damian Cage has an answer. Thanks again to everybody in the chat. We got 16 viewers here, an hour and 10 minutes in. Much much appreciated. Eddie Proof. He's he's naming them. Irish Show Podcast is in. All right, guys, it, can you, can it's you a number. Them? Let's see answers up. Let's see those whiteboards. I'll start off with Chris Cass. What do you got? Three. I believe it was 24, 26, and 30. Des. Three. I don't know the dates. Uh, Chris Flex. <laughs> he on did. That one. Zach, what do you got, buddy? Yeah. I got four. WrestleMania 30 versus Batista and Brian. WrestleMania 26 versus DiBiase and Rhodes. Yeah, I know that one. WrestleMania 24 versus I Cena and Triple one. H. And WrestleMania 22 versus Angle and Mysterio. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I completely Zach, forgot about that. Yep. Zach, yeah, Zach with the answer with a yep. 19. Yep. Good job, Finally. Zach. Man. Almost knocks the mic Standing over. Ground. Uh, Good job, buddy. For the second Zach time. at 19. Thank you. Thank you kindly. One point behind Dez. Really? How the- oh, no. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I was mean to you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Dez. If you don't finish it. I forgive you, man. Come on. Um, this, one, this one might be an easy one for round three. By the way, this Scott is just annihilating Dez here. Um, question six, three points. Wonderful. Name all five members of the Spirit Squad. Oh, okay, I might know this. 
the chattis. I'm assuming that's Chad. Chad, what is up, buddy? I read your question. I fucking told you, and you stumped all three of them. Congratulations. He says Zach is being the Cinderella story in this game. He is the Cinderella story in this game. I swear to God, whoever gets put in the right, bottom right corner of our show always ends up being that guy. Tattoo John Adal says, she has no clue about wrestling, but I'm pulling for that Zach guy. So you got some fans. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Again, everyone. name all five members of the Spirit Squad. You have to hit all five for those three points. Des will give you another two seconds. All right, guys. Chris Cass knows this one. I'm going to start off with Zach and see if he gets it. What do you got, my friend? I got Mikey, Nikki, Kenny... Then Dewey and Kaney. <laughs> I love your answer. I love it. Des, what do you got, buddy? I don't got I put Mickey, Nikki, Kenny, Zach, and Ziggler. Wait, I know Ziggler's in there, say that again. He's Nikki or say something it again. anyway. So. Mickey, Nikki, Kenny, Zach, and Ziggler. But I know Ken, I know Ziggler's in there, but I think he's Nikki, right? So yeah, he's wrong. Nikki. Cass, yeah. what do you got, buddy? All right. So it's Mikey, Johnny, Nikki, Kenny, and Mitch. Oh, here's Cass going. He's running away with Chris it. Chris Cass is up to 34 <laughs> points, ladies and gentlemen. Not yeah. bad, buddy. Not bad at all. He's Canadian. I can't no. hate him. You're right? Sorry, yeah. This is this is all love. You know, when I, when it's at yeah. the end of this, we'll just say sorry to each other and be on our day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> they're they're going to send each yeah. other sorry My letters and thank that. you letters and fucking. <laughs> I'll send you a sympathy it. card. JB3 and fam. Do you know who that is, Chris? Is yeah, I do. That's uh, another trivia league I'm in. He's the uh, right host on. of it. Yeah, thank you guys for bringing for bringing more eyes to the show. Uh, that's that's what we're doing. This we're trying to get all the communities in this together, baby. Irish Whip, thank you, buddy. He says he loves the live scoring on the screen. I thought it was a nice touch. I can't wait to see it's it. It's really not that impressive looking. It's yeah. just a number that changes besides oh. your name. <laughs> <laughs> EJ Reed says, The Spirit Squad was the era I was out chasing tail. Fair enough. That is the right era to go out. You see the Spirit Squad, you're like, fuck <laughs> this shit. Hey, I, was four, I was 14 then. That was like the reincarnation of like the worst DX spot. It was in cringy, cringy DX for every reunion. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, like PG. Oh. You mean when they put them on to like a fucking trunk and she put an OVW sticker on it? Oh, yeah. I remember every time they did anything, anything related to being PG-14, Shawn Michaels had to walk out screen. It's like, oh, I'm going to walk away if you're talking really? about it. Like, fuck, oh, it's because he's a douche. Yeah, man. His wife had him locked down, I guess, as a born-again Christian. No boobies. Andy Proof's taking a shot at Chris. Says, you were 14 cast. Were you a late bloomer? Weren't chasing tail at 14? No comment. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we're, we're, was I? Oh no, I was older than that. I'm sure at that point. When Spirit Squad? How old are you, Chris? Uh, I'm 29 now. I was born okay, in 90. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. I was born in 90. Born in the 90s, Zach. How old are you? I'm 33. I'm, I'm the oldest here. By Fuck. like three months, Des. Chill. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. You look the oldest, so it's fine. Minus two points for Des. Okay, here we go. Question seven. Oh. Final. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I take second? So you're you're close. Uh, yeah, you would be. He's at he's at seventeen now. So final question of round three, guys. This is not a Scott question. Back to the theme. In nineteen ninety six, this legendary star of the nineteen eighties and early nineteen nineties returned for one last run as a face. His gimmick was tweaked slightly, with him being portrayed. As a religious zealot, who was he? Can you can you, can no. you do the question yes, again? If you tell me that I don't look the oldest, you I look old. I'm old as ball. You don't look old. Nobody's got bags like these, man. I was born with these bags. Uh, in 1996, this legendary star of the 80s and 90s returned for one last run as a face. His gimmick was tweaked slightly with him being portrayed as a religious zealot. I think that's the pronunciation. Who was this? So far, I got no no one in the chat's got it. Except for JB and the fam. He just got it. JB3 and the fam. Chris Cass is just wanting to flip that board over and go into final jeopardy with 
37 oh. points. Mondo Dondo's got it. I'm not I'm not that great at math lately, so this is going to suck <laughs> in the end. Numbers running through my one. fucking head. All right, guys. One. Let's see those uh, whiteboards up, please. We'll start off with Chris Cass. Oh, fuck. Jake Des. Des. Roberts. Jake DeSnake. Zach. Uh, Jesse Ventura. It is, in fact, Jake the Snake oh. Roberts. Congratulations, guys. Three points apiece. Uh, I think that was Dez's first points of the third round, but he pulled it off at the end. Yeah, I, I got something. He pulled it off at the end. So here we are, the end of the three rounds, heading into the final category. Chris Cass at 37, Dez at 23, Zach at 19. But Zach, you got that bonus question for being our biggest loser. Worth a whopping three points. It's another one from our boy JP from Kayfabe Chronicles. You're fucked, bud. This is impossible. Here we go. Let's listen. <laughs> Hit me with it, man. If you get this one, I will I'll bring you a case of beer. Let's go. Hey, hey, Talk Maniacs. This is Sweet. JP from Kayfabe Chronicles. Now, the very first Survivor Series, 1987, was main evented by Hulk Hogan's team taking on Andre the Giant's team. Now, Hulk Hogan's final team was actually different than what was originally promoted. Who was originally supposed to be on Hulk Hogan's team, and who replaced that wrestler? I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this dude. Man, the oh crazy thing God. is about JP from Kayfabe is that he doesn't even Google this. He just fucking knows it. And 80 proof... And he made it seem last minute, too, eh? He's like, oh, yeah, here's some questions. It's like, what? He, he's not great <laughs> under pressure because he's... He's came in second once. AD Proof in the chat says, the bonus question should be phone a friend. You know what? I might add that next time. I might add a phone a friend. Uh, we're not going to do fun. it this time, though. But here okay. we go. Um, fuck. Uh, Mr. Wonderful replaced Randy Savage. I feel like you weren't super far off. Uh Damien Cage real? says he knows this. He, he's just buying time while he uh, <laughs> Googles it. Yeah, 100%. Fuck you, Dave. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. Uh, well, I wish I could Google things. Superstar Billy Graham was replaced by Rock Don Morocco. I cool. totally... Well, that was my second guess. <laughs> Chris, did you know that one? Fuck. <laughs> no fucking... I wasn't even fucking born yet, dude. <laughs> Guys, here we go. End of round three. Cass... With 37, Dez with 23, Zach with 19. Kayfabe Chronicles, you stumped everybody. You stumped everybody. Um, final question. What we're going to do here is I'm going to give you the theme. We're going to take another break. Um, you guys are going to put your wagers on your board. You're going to hold it up at the same time. We're going to take the break. I'll give you the theme. Can you give me the points again for yep. everybody? Chris Cass has 37. Fuck. Dez has 23. And Zach has 19. Cass with 37. Dez with 23. Zach with 19. Do the math. 80 Proof Pod is cheering on Zach. Oh, Dez. Thanks, 80 Proof. That's it. May not you be know what? Winning. You know what? Just because just Rucker said that? <laughs> ah, he's Bang. back. Oh, baby. no. <laughs> I am a real American. Okay. I didn't I didn't put the theme, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Um okay, here we go. The theme is Oh god, 80 proof. I I'm gonna allow it. It's holding a message. I'm allowing it. It says, Oh wow, Cass just joined the clan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. What's the theme? The theme is definitely new generation. Okay, new generation champions. Sorry, new generation WWF champions. I'll leave it at that. I'll give you guys a couple of seconds. Actually, you know what? I'll give you the break uh. to think about your math. When we come back, you can show us your wagers and we can go from there. Go for the P. Uh, this is the signal for P, guys. Don't oh, worry about that. Um, okay, I'm going to throw it on the be right back. And uh, yeah, we'll listen to some jams. See you in a bit.
Do you love wrestling? Yeah! Do you want to get an insight into professional wrestling from a lifelong fan's perspective? Kick back, enjoy a whiskey with Mike Farrell on the Chaos Theory Podcast every Monday via Spreaker, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and wherever else you get your podcast fix. Follow Chaos Theory on Twitter at chaos underscore theory pod or online at fullpresscoverage.com for more info. The following announcement has been paid for by Boo to the Face. What's up, Talk Maniacs? Do you enjoy quality wrestling talk? Raw, AEW, NXT, SmackDown, and pay-per-view prediction and review shows mixed with a lot of whiskey and a whole lot of profanity? Are you tired of the smarky podcast and you just want to hear fans talk about wrestling that don't want to take it too seriously? Then come find us at Boo to the Face on Spreaker, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. We're Santana Garrett's favorite podcast. Let's boot to the face with the number two, as in sweet. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. If you aren't listening to Boot to the Face or Chaos Theory Podcast, go check them out. Uh, They're family. They're part of the full press uh, coverage team, the FPC boys. Go check them out. Um, All right, we are back. The final question. Dez is gone. Dez is peeing. Dez is still taking a piss. So we're going to have to wait on for him. So let's, uh, Dez quit. He's trying to get counted out. That's what 80 Proof Pod says. Holy shit. Can we add count outs to the show? (laughs) Start counting. (laughs) One. No. Can you imagine? (laughs) Is it 10 seconds or 60 seconds? Because Scott wants to know. Okay, here we go. Dez is back. He's coming in. He's got a beer. He took that pee. Sitting down. Giving you guys a play-by-play. Yeah, he's going to buy some time here. He's He's pulling up Wikipedia. Dez, what are you doing? He is. What are you doing with the computer, Dez? (laughs) Turn that computer off. What's up? No, no, no. No, Don't worry. I wouldn't do that shit. I mean, I don't even Greg Cherry, this guy's bringing the rules. He says there's no count outs in triple threat matches. He's right. Here we go. I want to see your wagers, and I want to see them now, guys. Again, Chris Cash, 37. Dez, 23. Zach, 19. Okay, Zach, throw him up. What do you got, buddy? I'm betting 14 in my good points. Chris Cash. Dez. 15. 15. All right, I'm going to write those down. Hold on. This is going to be tough here. Chris, what would you have? 10. Dez, 15. And 14. From uh, Smart and Friends. Here we go. You guys have 60 seconds to answer this. New Generation era was between 1993 and 1997. That is what it is. Name as many (laughs) WWF champions during this time. No writing. Hands up. I want to see the hands up right now, guys. Hands up. Hold on. The question ain't over. All right. You will lose one point for every wrestler you name incorrectly. So choose wisely. If a wrestler won multiple oh. times, you can name them multiple times. I'll re I'll reread the answer the question. Between So is this from January first, ninety three to December whatever thirty one days in December? Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> yes. 1993 to what? To 1997, inclusive, whatever, like 93 and 97, the whole year. Between those two dates, name as many WWF champions as you can. You will lose a point for every wrestler you name incorrectly, so choose wisely. If a wrestler won it multiple times, you can name them multiple times. Whoever has the most points you get one point for a correct no no one point for a correct minus one for an incorrect even if you say a guy's name and say he won three and only won two you're gonna miss a point 93, 93 to 1997 okay. your time starts once the car crashes
<laughs> Damn. I'll let you know. Keep going until I tell you. Guys, time is I'm up. Fucked. I want to see the hands up, please. I'm fucked. Man. Hands up. Fuck. Hands up, Des. Here we go. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, right I'm here. on a delay. Okay, so chill. All right, so there is a 15 total champions during this time. I'm going to start off with Zach. I want to see the hands up of everybody else. Let's go, Zach. What do you got, buddy? Read them out slowly because I got I to gotta follow you. Okay. Here. Yeah, man. Okay. So I got Bret Hart. I got Bret Hart two more times. Bret, Bret, Bret. Hold on. I got Shawn Michaels. Oh. Yeah. I got Shawn Michaels. I have Shawn Michaels a second time. I got Psycho Sid. Diesel. Backland. Yokozuna. Hogan. Undertaker. And Ric Flair. Okay, Ric Flair is not in there. You got to get a minus one on that. Okay. Fuck. Bret Hart, you were short one, but it still counts for three. It still counts oh. for three. So you Wait. got three for Bret, two for HBK. You're one short on HBK. He had three, but you're good. So three, four, mm. five. Sid is six. Diesel is seven. Backland is eight. Yoko is nine. Hogan is ten. Taker is eleven. Minus your one. 10 points. All right, Des, what do you got, buddy? Well, we know these names as many as you have uh, always been my kryptonites. It's going to be the case tonight. Uh, I think uh, it's not going to look good for me, but I got HBK, Brett, Diesel, HBK, HBK, so I have his three. Hold on. I have Brett's five, three. one. Three, Brett four, only five. had four, so you're at minus one. He no, he four. didn't get five. He won it and held, held up his hands as five. I remember, he won and held up his hands you're as incorrect. five at one point. He won in as champion. Brett has not won the WWE he title might have, five but it wasn't times. between 93 and 97. He won before 93, 97, then? I'm not sure, but it's it's four. He was out. He's out of the WWE Y'all can, y'all can fact check in the chat, but I got four. Unless it was him winning at yeah, 97, so like it was wanted, up to 97, so, including 97. So are we not including um, who was champion starting with 93? Because uh, I think you said everyone who's held the title from 93 to 97. 97. Because Brett started the year, so that Hold would on. be five. If we, if we, because Brett Did started you start the year with it. Okay, if he's, he's starting the year with it, if you're all going to start the year with it, I will take him as being a five-time. Yeah, because I was super confused. Let's I, be okay. honest here. Hold he's going to blow us away when he no, flips his board Greg here. Cherry so also had him go there. Brett won the first one in 92, but if he was champion in 93, that does count. Okay, so we're going to go yeah. with five with Brett, so a total of 16. So, Des, you have HPK times three, Brett times five, Diesel. Who's next? Sid. Backlund. Flair, he said, was wrong. I thought he had it during that period. I know Brett beat him, but I guess it was earlier. 92, 92, 92. right? Yeah. Yeah. 92. yeah. Hogan, Undertaker, Undertaker. Undertaker had a one, so you're at minus two. Okay, so you got three from HBK, five from Brett, that's eight, nine with Diesel, ten with Sid, eleven with Backlund, twelve with Hogan, thirteen with Taker, minus two, you got eleven. Not bad. Minus two for Flair and Undertaker? Flair and second Undertaker. Undertaker? All right, let's go yeah. with Chris Cass. What do you got, buddy? All right, because I was confused because you said 15. Yeah, and 16, I 16 is, so I'll take 16 is right I if we added that extra order. Brett. Okay, so 93 started with Bret Hart with the title. Oh he lost to Yokozuna. No, no, I don't need to know all that shit. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. I'll just do it anyway, okay? Hogan. And then Hogan lost it back to Yokozuna at King of the Ring. Bret Hart won at WrestleMania 10. Lost it to Backlund at Survivor Series. Lost it on a house show to Diesel. Who Bret Hart beat Diesel in Survivor Series '95. Uh, Shawn Michaels beat Bret Hart at WrestleMania 12. Sid won it at Survivor Series '96. Shawn Michaels won it at the Rumble '97. And then forfeited it when he lost his smile. Bret Hart won it at the fin- In Your House Final Four. 
then Sid won it on Raw, then Undertaker won it at WrestleMania 13, Bret Hart won it at SummerSlam, and then Shawn Michaels won it in the Screwjob. It's for obviously Series 97. 16 out of 16. He made Bret Hart tap out. I'm sorry. He made Bret Hart tap <laughs> no, out. He no, he didn't. Screwjob. You son of a bitch. There's, uh, hold on. Dez beat Zach. Zach was 14. Dez with 15. You both lost those points. 23 minus 15. Nine. Dez in second place. But we have a new Trivimania champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest. Christopher Cass from Halifax came in. Absolutely. Uh, what's that? 37 plus, how many did you wager? 10? 10 plus whatever. 47 yeah. total points on the board. I'm going to update it because I'm fancy. Uh, 47. <laughs> Des, 23 minus 15. Somebody do that for me. 23 minus 15. Um, eight. 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 An application on your computer called Calculator. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of <laughs> stuff over here because I've hosted Talk Mania for the last year. Zach with 19 minus 15, I believe. 14. Still coming in third. That's fifth? That's five? Is it five? 14. Yeah, but 19 minus 14, 14. is what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Five. Oh, here we go. Let's update it again. Chris Cass with a whopping 47 versus Dez in second place with eight. Good job, Chris. Zach Thank you. with five. Congratulations, Chris Cass, on being the new Trivomania champion. Now, here's the thing. Will you be able to defend it on Trivomania 9 in December? You'll also have money in the bank straight up your ass. Dez is in there again. I swear to God, Dez, if you fucking win that and I have to go another fucking six months with hosting the shit, I'm going to be pissed. Awesome. Um, guys, valiant effort. I appreciate it. Uh, that was a fun show. It was neck and neck yeah. the whole way through. Uh, I'm going to allow you guys each. Mm. No, it was neck and neck. Round one, we were pretty close. Round one to two. You were only. I was only beating you by like five or something dude man what a way to win it man like literally giving us a history lesson good job See, yeah man. so you funny story it. about that like there's actually i had my girlfriend do this a couple years ago i was like go to the wikipedia page for the list of wb champions and i will name them all in fucking order and i did them fucking all in order so once you ah, said that, I was like, oh, so there man. was a fix there was a fix in this question no i saying. did this like two coincidentally years <laughs> no i'm joking man you you earned it Guys, it's a beautiful day regardless because the belt stays in Canada. That's a victory for all of us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We haven't had a two-time champion since Scott, but Scott's second defense was killed by Dez. But before that, it's still Chris Rucker with the length with a four-time uh, championship title reign. Uh, don't forget. Oh, who's this? Creator, creator of the parachute. Thank you for the follow, bud. But, uh, yeah, there's a five defense maximum but then you are called back for the true test of championships where we will crown the greatest ever champion kind of like they do in saudi arabia but guys before we head out of here i want to thank you all i'm going to give you all the opportunities to plug your podcast zach we'll start with you with your measly five points what do you got for us buddy <laughs> well first i want to say thanks for having me on the talk mania this like you said a uh, hell of a lot of fun. Thank you once again. Uh, but yeah, Smart and Friends, we're the wrestling podcast. It's not just for wrestling fans. We do that by welcoming content creators who aren't involved in the wrestling industry or fandom, and I get them to watch a match with me. Uh, otherwise, I'll interview people from the wrestling industry and talk, them, talk to them about their projects outside of the ring. And you can catch us on Spotify, iTunes, all the major podcatchers, really. And follow us at Smart and Friends on Facebook. Uh, no, not on Facebook, excuse me, on Twitter and on Instagram. Uh, JB3 and the fam, thank you for the follow, Zach. You record in a in a studio, if I'm not incorrect, right? Well, I, I mean, 
Yeah, we did pre-pandemic, uh, but, you know, <laughs> we lose access to such things. Uh, now I'm just recording from home in my, uh, in my humble little <laughs> studio with this little backdrop behind me. I like the setup. Me. Dez. Thank you. That look on your face. Don't give me the Greg Cherry treatment. You're in money in the bank, my friend. You were you you came in you a hell of an effort. You were definitely the better of the two here from Dockamania. I want to congratulate you on that victory. You brought that belt home. Unfortunately, actually, we're gonna buy that PC. I'm gonna come down. I want to see that belt. <laughs> I want to touch that belt. Hopefully, you haven't uh, you know fornicated too much on it. But should I do the the, the Michaels uh, photo shoot prep before or what do you what do you get? No, it's all about there? how you want to give this to Chris Cass. Just wipe that bitch down with some lights all beforehand. I don't know, man. I've I, I've seen that finger, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, Des, plug plug our shit. Come on, throw it out there, guys. Give us a follow uh, at underscore Talkamania on Twitter. Check us out on Twitch if you aren't in the chat right now. I um, mean, you should be following us, but it's wherever you get your podcast kicks: uh, Google Play, iHeart Radio, Spotify. Just Google us; you shall find us. Five star subscribe via Talkamaniac. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank Zach. I want to uh, thank Chris as well. It was a great night tonight. Valiant effort. And uh, Chris, hats off to you, my brother. Uh, I'm glad it's staying in Canada. And um, that's it, man. Happy Rusev Day to everybody. The Irish Whip Podcast. Thank you for the follow, brother. And here we go. The final words from our new champion, Chris Gath. You're gonna uh, you're gonna get a little bit of background music here. Oh, it's wow. your turn to cut that's... a promo, my friend. Chris so, Cass, the new Trivomania champion, hailing from Halifax. What do you got to say to the people, Chris? So I've only been watching this fucking show for two episodes because Greg Cherry linked me to it. But you know what? I came to your chat. I said my piece. I answered questions. And you invited me on the fucking show. And here I am. I took your belt. I beat your post. <laughs> Give me the fucking belt. And then follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash C-A-S-S. It's Cass. But it's spelled out C A double S. And then, you know, I'll head up all my friends. So you can follow youtube.com slash new Scott. He posts all the fucking matches from the maritime wrestling scene. Tons of shit going on down there. He's wearing his shirt in the first fucking round. Then also follow Kaizen Pro Wrestling on Facebook and Twitter. They're good fucking guys. And UCW Pro Wrestling. Just a couple of the guys I work for out here in Halifax. So they're all fucking good guys. Dave Voice, Damian Cage in the chat, owns this company. Right on, brother. I see a lot of people saying no D crew. What do you got? What, what, what's what's this tie-in in no DQ here? So that is me and Greg Cherry's tag team in um, JB3, who commented on here. That's uh, his league. So me and Greg Cherry, Greg Cherry, are a team over there, and we're called the No D Crew, representing No DQ. I haven't done much with No DQ recently. It's been a few years, but, uh, you know, I still represent those guys. They got me on a shirt. Right on, guys. I want to thank everybody in the chat for coming out. You made this night fun. We are going to transfer this to an after-party Zoom call. Uh, I will leave the live stream open. I will post it in the chat. I will also throw it out to some people on Twitter and post it on Talkamania's Twitter. So if you want to jump in the show, if you guys want to continue talking shit, drinking beers, and having a good time, come join us there. Big thanks to Dez from Talkamania, Zach from Smark and Friends, and our new Trivomania champion, Chris Cass, who's apparently from fucking every fucking podcast and every fucking thing <laughs> on the internet. I love that it's in Canada, boys. We represented valiant effort from all. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time at Trivomania 9.